Clancy the Cloud was walking along to school one day when all of a sudden, Gale, the wind blew. Whoosh! 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 Gale blew and Clancy drifted away from where he was going. Before too long, Clancy was lost. He'd been blown far, far away. Oh no! Where am I? thought Clancy. Clancy looked around and couldn't see anything that reminded him of home. I'm lost. I've never been this far away from home before, Clancy said to himself. He was beginning to get a little bit scared. Clancy decided to walk in the direction he thought he came from, but he couldn't remember which way that was. It wasn't Gail's fault. She had just been doing her job. Hopefully she would be back soon, and Clancy could ask her to push him back home. Clancy was looking around at the houses and busy streets below when he spotted a familiar cloud in the distance. It was Jimmy, a cloud a few years older than Clancy, and a troublemaker. Clancy wondered what Jimmy was doing this far away from school. Jimmy was just learning his thundercloud powers and was puffing himself up making small lightning bolts which he flashed to the ground. He had wanted to practice and was scaring a few people below. Clancy didn't think that was very nice. Clancy decided to walk in the other direction and stay away from this naughty cloud. He turned around and was drifting away from Jimmy when he suddenly heard screaming and shouting from the ground. Clancy looked over at where Jimmy had been and saw puffs of smoke. Jimmy had accidentally hit a house with one of his lightning strikes, which had started a fire. Jimmy was running off into the distance. It didn't take long for Clancy to arrive at the house and see a little girl and her puppy were inside. There were people outside trying to get water to put the fire out, but the flames were very big. The girl and the puppy were trapped. Clancy didn't know what to do, but then remembered his father telling him about a cloud who wasn't much older than Clancy, called Tommy. Tommy had seen a group of people trapped on a mountain during a bushfire. The young cloud had managed to make some rain, which put the fire out and saved all those people. Clancy thought if Tommy could do it, then so could he. Clancy moved towards the house and started to think about making rain. He tensed his body up and down and thought about rain. Lots and lots of rain. The people on the ground looked up at Clancy and saw what he was trying to do. They cheered him on. Come on, little cloud. You can do it. They all shouted. Clancy tried and tried. And then it all happened. Clancy had started to make rain. The little girl and the puppy were saved. Clancy had put the fire out. Everyone on the ground cheered for Clancy and clapped their hands with joy. Clancy had saved the day. The little cloud was now very happy. In fact, he had forgotten he was lost. Clancy gave a wink to the little girl and was about to drift away when he heard Gail's voice. Oh Clancy, I've been looking all over for you. I didn't realise my breeze had pushed you away. Gail blew another breeze and they drifted back to school. On the way, Clancy told her of the adventures he had. Gail dropped Clancy off at school, but the teacher was not too happy with Clancy being late and sent him home. Clancy tried to explain what happened, but the teacher didn't believe him. The principal of the school took Clancy home to his mother where he explained that Clancy was late for class. His mother was not very happy and sent Clancy to his room. A short time later, there was a knock at the door. It was the neighbour clouds. They explained to Clancy's mum what happened and how Clancy was a hero. She was very proud of Clancy and gave him a big hug. That night, the entire town gave Clancy a party to celebrate what he had done. Everyone was there and had a great time. All that is except Jimmy, who was sent to his room for playing with lightning. <laughs>